best thing, best thing for the parents to do is to exercise with their exercise, kids. Exercise, To yeah. play with them, certainly, and even, you know, and to go out and hike and walk or play uh, uh, pickleball with their kids early with on. With their kids. With their kids. Yeah. <목소리> 안녕하세요. 교육 고민을 대신 물어봐주는 교육대 기자 TV. 저는 대기자 방종임입니다. 세계로 뻗어나가는 교육대 기자가 되기 위해서 세계적인 석학을 종종 모시는 시간을 마련해 보려고 하는데요. 첫 번째 시간으로는 하버드 의대 교수님이자 세계적인 뇌 권위자이신 존 레이티 교수님 모시고 말씀 나눠 보도록 하겠습니다. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on our YouTube channel, 교육대 기자. Would you please say hi to our viewers? Hello there. How are you? I'm delighted to be back in Korea. 뇌 사용에 관한 정보, 좋은 정보를 전 세계적으로 많이 나눠주시는 걸로 알고 있습니다. 그 뜻은 뇌 사용에 대한 사람들이 놓치는 부분, 잘못된 인식들이 있다는 생각이 들어서 그 부분에 대한 지적으로 좀 말씀을 나눠보고 싶은데요. Most of us don't use our brain as much as we could. We, we need to find a way to make our brains work better for us. Yeah. And one of the uh, ways that exercise is a way to spark our brain, to That's get our brain way. active. Yeah. Uh, because when we move physically, our, we move our muscles, right? And, and our muscles are connected to our brain cells. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, our brain's alive, our brain's on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, when we move, because the brain sort of evolved to help us be the best movers. Mm -hmm. And it also uh, it sets up our brain to take in new information, mm -hmm. which is the key mm -hmm. for learning. Mm -hmm. And this can really help promote uh, us to be the best that we can be. 운동이 아이들의 뇌에 어떤 영향을 준다고 생각하시는지 좀한번더 짚어주시죠. Well, first off, mm -hmm. the kids, if, if they uh, are in a high degree of fitness or exercise, their attention will be much better. Attention. Attention yeah. will be much better. Also, you promote the brain cells, mm -hmm. actual brain cells, to be uh, what we call plastic, more able to bind and, and change, to grow. Because mm -hmm. we grow in the information. That's how we take in information in our brain. That's how we make a memory. We grow our brain cells. Mm -hmm. And so exercise, yeah. exercise helps us <clears throat> create the right environment within our brains to grow better. We create a substance called BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor, mm -hmm. which is brain fertilizer. Mm -hmm. It helps our brain cells grow and change and also remain there as we age and as we deal with stress. Uh, so we make more of that when we exercise. 이 운동을 기반한 그 교육 이게 해외에서는 좀 어느 정도나 이루어져 있고 이 운동의 필요성에 대한 인식들이 해외에서는 어느 정도인지 좀알수 있을까요? Yeah, there are many many studies around the world. Uh, many, many many yeah. studies. Uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, just came out with a uh, report last year saying that exercise is one of the best ways for the to prepare prepare the students to learn mm. some uh, amazing changes in a school system in chicago oh, near chicago. Uh, yeah. naperville illinois where they had all the kids eventually do 45 minutes of exercise a day 45 45 19,000 students at the end of uh, four or five years the students there, there was reduction of uh, being overweight. This, this is how they began. But what they also found oh. is that the kids mm -hmm. were uh, very much better academically. And they tested them as though they were a country on the, what's called the TIMS test. That's an international science and math test that every country takes every three years. Mm -hmm. They took it as a country. The, the kids from mm -hmm. Naperville, they scored number one in the world in science and number six in math. The U.S. average was 16, 17, 18. Mm. So just by the, 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 
the conclusion is that uh, the daily exercise for all the kids had a promotion of their ability to be a better student, improvement in class participation. I mean, that was the key. And that led to working together with the teachers mm -hmm. uh, and uh, actually in promoting a happier bond. We're, we're yeah. starting yeah. A, a whole program here. The mm -hmm. reason why I'm here with our, my wonderful friends is we're starting a brain fitness program mm -hmm. here where we're actually uh, tr measuring the effect of exercise on students' ability to learn. Uh, they'll spend 20 minutes of uh, fun games, challenges. Fun games. Fun games, moving. 20 moving, minutes. Yeah, yeah, and laughing and, mm. and, and competing a little bit with each other. Then they go in for an hour and a half in the classroom mm -hmm. to learn how to learn. That's part of what the, the, uh, this uh, brain fitness program is about. And then we will measure that against the other kids who didn't have that 20 minutes of exercise mm -hmm. and, and look at their changes in, in, in the effect of exercise on, on the kids that participated. And we already see quite a big difference between those that, uh, be, yeah, be, between those that exercise and those that didn't. 안타까운 것은 한국에서는 사실 운동이 많이 학습에 비해서 소외돼 있거든요. 학교에선 수업이라든지 이런 때 체육 시간이 많이 밀려 있는 상황인데 뒤로 미쳐지거나 이런 상황인데 이런 한국 현실에서 만약에 이렇게 됐었을 때 우리 아이들, 우리 한국 아이들의 뇌 in a word, depressed, fat, lazy students. <laughs> depressed, lazy students. Yeah. Because exercise has a big bonus mm -hmm. of making our, our mood so much better, so much more positive, mm. so much more directed to being a participant in the world rather than sitting back and allowing it to come at us. Mm. Um, you know, and that's really important. Uh, to be and feel like an agent in in the classroom, then you have a learner that's that's wanting to scoop up the information mm -hmm. and bring it in. So because they're interested, because they're excited, mm -hmm. and I think the, the that's what our brain fitness program is about: is to get the kids not just getting their cells ready to learn, mm -hmm. but also changing their mood, changing their uh, motivation, because that's what happens when you really get kids moving. Mm. 워낙 경쟁이 치열하기 때문에 입지에 대한 마음이 쫓겨서 공부를 우선으로 하다 보니까 운동에 대한 음, 중요성을 많이 인식을 못 하시거든요. 근데 이게 오히려 잘못된 생각이라는 건가요? Everybody wanted to do well on test, uh, in test scores, making things more seat, seat time, we call it, sitting in, in their seats and less time for the athletes, less time for exercise, a waste of time, people would say. Well, in fact, it's not a waste of time. What you do is you create a better student overall. 그렇다면 지금 상황에서 청소년들이 하루에 어느 정도 어떻게 운동을 하면 뇌에 조금 더 효과적일까요? The idea would be to exercise a couple yeah. times throughout yeah. the day, but start the day with a, a bout of exercise. Uh, even t 10 minutes in 10 the morning, minutes. 10 minutes oh. to get to get everybody going. Yeah. Dancing or uh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. K-pop dancing. dancing. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. It'd be wonderful. You know, <laughs> to get the kids moving around and, 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 and enjoying. Mm. They'll have a different yeah. opinion of school. They'll mm. have a different uh, feeling about what they're about to undertake. 혹시 우리 부모님들이 뇌에 대해서 잘못 생각하는 부분, 인식이 좀 다른 부분, 혹시 좀더 추가적으로 있을까요? In general, parents can think the more time their child sits in the seat and pays attention to their book, oh, yeah. it's going to be there. That that's the best way for the child to learn. Yeah. And yes, you want that, but you you want to try to pr promote uh, the ability to stay there and stay with it.
-hmm. when in, in attention, you, we have uh, sort of getting something in focus, but then staying on it, sustaining your attention is such a big problem. Uh, it's something that, uh, mm -hmm. that when we exercise, we promote the ability to sustain our attention that much longer. And, and so parents have a misconception of, well, they're just playing, they're just dancing. Well, it's not just dancing. They're, they're activating their brains. They're turning their brains on because if you measure their brain activity before and after they exercise, oh, their brains are on fire, meaning yeah. their brains are awake and alive and sparked. 부모님 입장에서는 우리 아이들의 가능성과 잠재력을 발현해 주고 싶은 게 모든 부모의 바람이거든요. 뇌 권위자이신 입장에서 부모님이 뇌를 뇌를 잘 사용할 수 있는 법. The best thing. Best thing. For yeah. the parents to do is to exercise with their exercise. kids. Exercise with their kids. <웃음> to yeah. play with them. Certainly even you know and to go out and hike and walk or play mm. pickleball or uh, tennis or uh, soccer with their kids early with on their kids. with their kids yeah. because then they'll, they, they will show the child that this is really important, mm -hmm. that this is valuable. And there, by the way, it will yeah. also have an effect on the parents. Uh, don't take the old way of looking at things that just, uh, you know, we just need to have their children quiet and reading and learning and going over it and over it and over again, uh, but to participate more in life uh, and you do that uh, with them, get them moving and you move too. Yeah, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Good. Thank well, you. Thank you for having me. <laughs>